It's just bomb. Okay. Let me adjust my magic. Okay. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another one of my videos. And if it's your first time here, thank you for watching. Um, so I'm just popping in real quick, as promised, to give you the details on this fabulous head of hair that I'm rocking. Yes, I'm doing the most, but you love it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get into the details about this hair. So I ordered the hair. Um, the hair is by Yvonne Hair on AliExpress, and I also have a closure unit from a different brand or a different um, vendor on AliExpress. The closure is by Bliss Hair on AliExpress. I will leave links to both of those um, vendors on AliExpress down below. I ordered three bundles of hair, a 12, a 14, a 16, and I ordered a 16 inch closure. I believe this hair is Brazilian hair. Whether or not it is virgin, I don't know. Um, it doesn't really matter to me. The bundle deal for the hair was actually very reasonable and for that price point I don't really have that high expectations so I'm gonna go through the pros and the cons as far as customer service and receiving my hair I've had this here I ordered it months ago um, however I do remember that it came I'd say within a week or so and chewing on some hot nigga like I told Tish I see when I shot nigga like you seen them twirl, <laughs> yeah, so I ordered it. It came within like a week or so, and it just I just had it sitting there until, like I said, I was waiting for the warmer months to hit for me to just, you know, make its debut. What was I talking about? Oh, pros. Okay, so came promptly, came in regular packaging, nothing spectacular. Texture of the hair looked very uniform, and it's it's always a bit intimidating. I don't know if you guys feel that way, but for me, it's always like. Yikes, is this gonna work out? Is how come this doesn't look like what everyone else's stuff looks like? like? I always have that moment of anxiety. So it was like a very uniform pattern. Even with the closure unit, like I said, they were all like matching. I definitely will insert a photo. So I was concerned that it wouldn't look normal or natural and the curls wouldn't fall and it wouldn't look like the other um, YouTubers that have reviewed the hair. As I got to handling the hair, I found it to be very soft. There weren't any type of funky smell with these usually, you know, there's always some type of like non-kosher type smells associated with these wigs and these wigs sometimes but yeah so that was not the case it didn't have any smells as I washed my hair and I constructed my unit there were minimal minimal shedding minimal shedding and when I say minimal shedding the first time I washed it this was all the shedding that I experienced and today when I co-washed it for the second time this was the hair that shed. So for this to be curly textured hair, this was all the shedding that I received. This is even and it was mainly from the closure. I don't know why that was. This is even less shedding than I experienced with my own natural hair. So that. so that was awesome. No smells, minimal shedding, it's very soft. I love it, like the curl pattern is amazing. Now, the cons. So I've had this hair, I've been wearing this hair for like a week, and I've had some matting at the nape. The, there's a slight difference between the texture of the bundles versus the texture of the closure. It does blend very nicely, but there's a very subtle difference. I actually prefer the texture of the, close, the closure more than the curls. However, the closure tends to get a little bit more frizzy this part of the hair doesn't it's you know doesn't get frizzy that easily after a full week of fluffing I still had minimal frizz it has a lot of volume because I use three bundles but you know I do find that the closure area does get a little bit frizzy I don't mind it but I just you know thought it was worth mentioning so if you were just here to find out the details about the hair then you can exit the video now but if you would like to, a little bit of information on how I constructed my unit products that I use how I maintain it how I wear my hair underneath and you definitely continue watching so I made my wig using a regular dome cap I thought it was gonna be a bit small like and I put the cap on it was like very exact so while I was sewing my tracks I just made sure that I didn't pull the thread too tight 
to you know make to kind of restrict the cap from stretching once I put the unit on my head the only areas that I made sure it was very secure was when I was ending a row of hair before I flipped it over and started to sew the, the weft down in the opposite direction but in the middle part secure the tracks with the thread without pulling it too tightly if that makes sense that should make sense anyway so no I didn't seal my wefts however I also did not cut any of my wefts I used all three bundles of the hair that I ordered constructing my wig I sewed down my closure first and then I went on to adding the 16 inch bundle like right after um, and then I you know put it up in a ponytail and then I went to the back to the nape and started on the nape area with the 12 inch bundle now the reason I do this is because I don't have a good sense of judgment when it comes to sewing the hair and being able to eyeball it and see how much spacing I need in between my tracks to make sure that the hair is sufficient I tend to always either underestimate or overestimate so to avoid that I rather just make sure that the main important part which to me is the top part you know towards the front I like to make sure that that part is flawless and is completed when it wind blows that I don't have any issues with you seeing tracks or my wig cap or whatever so now as far as the closure goes I didn't bleach my knot I honestly didn't intend on wearing a defined part the closure was brown medium brown I would say didn't quite match the color of my scalp as you can see my scalp is a little bit lighter than my face you know I initially for the first week that I wore it that I've worn it I didn't use concealer to define the part however with all these lights and things I was like you know what I'll be damned if somebody try to come for me so let me just make sure my closure situation is you know a1 so this is the closure after I use concealer and I just put some concealer on the part and just like buffed it out with the tips of my finger and I use my elf concealer palette that I use to blend all of my wig you always want to make sure that you use a concealer that is a little bit lighter than you normally would wear and make sure that when that lighter concealer oxidizes that is actually a natural looking color it's one thing to use a natural uh, lighter concealer it's a whole other thing to make sure that when it actually oxidizes that you don't have like this orange brown situation going on because like I said no one scalp tans unless you rock in a Caesar so I don't want to see that okay the bundles came in like a natural 1b number two kind of color so I did color the hair jet black I was prepared to use a box of color for every bundle I ended up only using two and a half bundles I do find that I have a bit of like brown areas in the wig where the color didn't quite take because I didn't use a comb to comb it through and to evenly distribute the color I just you know went through the with my fingers and went through the curls and you know kind of massage that color into the wefts I thought that would be enough it's not a big thing you don't really see it and it just it kind of gives it more natural of a natural look or natural effect but if for you know for you if you would like your color to be consistent throughout then I would suggest that you comb it through with a small tooth comb to make sure that that color is um, evenly distributed I basically I just co-washed the hair and I co-washed it using this Aunt Jackie purify me moisturizing co-wash cleanser now it says that it's a co-wash meaning, it, meaning it's a conditional wash it also says that it is sulfate free paraben free no mineral oil no petroleum however it suds up like crazy it has like amazing slippage and amazing suds I don't know what they put in there I don't know if it's all natural I do not know all I know is that it's amazing at least on this hair so I use that to co-wash I and while the conditioner was in there again I just went through and think and defined it with my finger finger detangled and I rinsed it thoroughly completely drenched I just let the water run over it and I did not touch it I did not go through go through it with a comb I just allowed the curls to clump as they naturally would and now I set it on a t-shirt 
so that it can absorb all the excess water for about an hour and then I went in and I diffused the inside of the cap first so I diffused the perimeter the bottom part the nape part and this on the area I diffused that and then once that was completely dry I put it back onto my canvas mannequin head and then I diffuse the hair now as far as my leave out um, I have about what is that like an inch of the perimeter of my hair left out in the front so this is all that's left out and I just added some Cantu coconut styler to my hair as well as some castor oil which is my go-to and some eco sour gel and I just flat twisted it now I flat twisted it going backwards so that I was able to tie down my edges this way and have it slick. If you're interested in trying this hair and you're not natural, maybe you're transitioning or maybe you're relaxed, I would still strongly suggest you trying this hair just because of the quality of the hair. I would suggest for blending purposes that you try flat twisting your hair just the same and on your straight ends I would recommend that you use a perm rod these are the gray ones I would say that this gray one probably matches the diameter of the curl I mean it doesn't really matter just to give your hair some kind of texture to allow it to blend seamlessly instead of you having just like straight pieces I used uh, this UV natural curl moisturizing and defining spray it's amazing on the hair so I put that on the closure spray it down if, if you're familiar with s curl activator and if you don't have access to this then I would suggest an alternative to be the s curl activator and I just sprayed it down and used my fingers again to rake through the hair and let the curls clump and define and that's it I did do a little bit of cutting I cut the nape area to you know so that it hits my shoulder I wasn't sure what shape I was going for I'm not that experienced with cutting so I didn't want to do too much I just settled for you know an inverted um, triangle kind of shape so I cut a little bit a couple of inches um, from the nape I just cut it kind of like a uh, DIY Divashon kind of cut where you cut it you cut the curls individually instead of sh stretching it and cutting I just cut them where they you know wherever they hit so it's a bit a little bit uneven it's not like a blunt cut and then I just kind of took the scissor at an angle to kind of get rid of that kind of flat shape um, I didn't cut much of the 16 inch just a couple of like clumps that were like el really elongated so just a little bit of cutting not too too much again because I wanted to be big and full and have that kind of inverted triangle shape and to secure the unit I just use bobby pins right above my ear and I also have a couple bobby pins in here to keep my closure in place if you needed to let's say your cap is a little bit bigger or just for extra added security you can also you can always try the elastic band method but my hair this unit is pretty secure on my head so I think I covered all my bases about this hair I am loving this protective style let me know in the comments below what you think of this hair or if there are any questions that I may have overlooked so that's it for this video if you found this video to be helpful of course you know definitely give it a thumbs up and do share it with someone that you think may find it useful if you plan on trying this here definitely you know leave me a comment below and tag me in your Instagram photo so that I can see how you like it thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you in my next video